Lesson 10, Editing the Icon Menu. In this lesson, we will add the custom symbol created in Lesson 9 to the Icon Menu for easy accessibility. From the Project Manager, activate the NFPA Demo Project and open the drawing Demo 04. If you did not save the drawing at the completion of Lesson 9, your drawing may look different. The Icon Menu Wizard makes modifying the Icon Menu extremely easy, even easier than using the standard AutoCAD CUI editor. When you enter the Icon Menu Wizard, you are prompted to select the menu you wish to edit, generally either the schematic or the panel menu. The menus set for the current project are displayed on the default buttons. The Icon Menu Wizard dialog box is displayed and looks very similar to the normal icon menu, but you may notice that several interface tools from the standard menu are missing, including the recently used panel and the command options normally displayed along the bottom of the dialog. The icon menu wizard is a navigation tool for you to easily move through the menu system and sublevels. To add a new entry in the menu, either click the add button in the upper right corner or right-click in an empty area and select the desired entry. For this exercise, we will create a new submenu first, then add a new component entry in the submenu. As a general guideline, you should keep all custom additions to the menu in folders separate from the standard AutoCAD electrical entries. This will help transition your customizations to new menus as you upgrade to newer versions of the software by locating the entries in separate areas. The important step is to make the new entry in the menu. You can easily reorganize your menu by using the cut and paste options to move the menu entries to different menus at a different time. Basically, every new entry will require only three pieces of information. The display name of the icon, an image or icon to display, and the command to execute when the icon is selected. For this submenu, we will make the following entries. For the name, enter Quick Start. For the image file, you can use any PNG image you have available. A frequent method is to download an image from the manufacturer's website. Whatever image you select will be scaled to a 36 by 36 pixel size for display. We will leave this blank for now. In the case of a submenu, the menu title is automatically set to be the same as the name of the icon. The new submenu is added to the menu using the default icon image. Next, you will double click on the new submenu icon to open the Quick Start subfolder. Either click Add and select Component, or right click in an empty area and select Add Icon and then Component from the menu. In the Add Icon Component dialog box, we are again entering only three pieces of information. For Name, enter the name you want displayed in the menu for the component. This does not have to be the same as the symbol name and can be more descriptive to make selection of the correct icon easier. For Image File, either type in an image that is in the project paths or browse to select the file. I will enter the image from the custom component we created earlier, hdv1 underscore 002. You will notice that until an appropriate image is found, the icon menu wizard will automatically select the default option of creating an image from whatever is shown on the drawing screen at the time. For block name, enter the block you wish to insert. I will again enter the name of the block created earlier, hdv1 underscore 002. In fact, I'll just copy and paste it from the image entry. As a hint, when I am creating the block in the symbol builder, I usually copy the name as I am creating the entry. After block creation and testing, I immediately open the icon menu wizard and create the new entry and simply paste the block name in both the image file and block name areas. Now, simply exit the icon menu by picking OK. Do not click Cancel or all your work is lost. Then we'll use the icon menu option to select your new menu entry and insert it into the drawing. 
This concludes Lesson 10, Editing the Icon Menu.